Man United 2, Everton 1. Big away win, bro. We had to we had to win the game. Had to bounce back after Manchester City. Ten I say this was the real test. Did we pass that test today? Definitely. Definitely. I think um to be honest, we carried on in the same vein, minus the City game. Um the Premier League game before that I believe is probably Arsenal, if I'm right. Um That's so long ago. Yeah, yeah, it was before the yeah, yeah. But yeah, literally yeah, those yeah. four games that we had and then this one, minus City, because they're yeah. just a different animal. Same sort of pattern. It's been brilliant to watch. Um today though. We went 1-0 down. I feel like we controlled the game more. Um, and it was nice to see different plays in the squad, i.e. Casemiro started Luke Shaw, who I am a fan of. And for me, it was man of the match. Um, could see him come in and Martial started. Didn't complete it, which is an issue. But then Ronaldo come on. And again, actually thing, came on, scored, what, 20 minutes later? And then we managed to see the game out and Rashford should have got a goal. So good, good team performance. They're starting to really buy into... Like we're starting to see uh, like an identity, aren't we? Mm. Like it is slow. It's still got us cook and, and we have to be really, really patient. But do you think we're starting to see like an identity under Ten Hag now? Definitely. Slowly? And do you know, I'm one of them people where I want to see my team win. Like we've had years of sh shit. Yeah. But like I'd rather see, man, you're not getting the three points, but there's some identity. You know, the players know what they're doing. Um, and it's not just off the hook, like, oh, boom, boom, boom. Um, and definitely Ten Hag definitely put his print on there. And I think he's put his print on there to the point where some big players, some star players are not starting, but they're not moaning because they believe in what he's doing. And that's important. So he's building like a team culture. He's 100%. Yeah. It's a culture. And um, so he's building a culture on the pitch. And I believe at the training grounds, so on and so forth, he's doing stuff as well, which mm. is um, important. But also then we need that to ascend to the top mm. and before you know it like um, Arteta has been they've stuck with Arteta for three years mm. and Pep's been there for quite a while but like Klopp best example seven years they've stuck with him because it wasn't yeah. pretty in the beginning if we do that with Ten Hag this could be crazy in mm. three four years time we could be rivaling like city levels talk about Anthony gets another goal um, heavily involved good goal Brilliant. he's starting to he's starting to kind of have a say on games on quite a consistent basis. And, and it's actually really telling how much he's been playing mm. since he's come and played every game, yeah. which shows you that Ten Hag's given him that time because yeah. these guys to say, listen, just keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. You know, it's simple, massive Anthony, you know, um, Ten Hag wanted him mm. and he bought him and he bought him back for a lot of money. And that's because he knew what this guy brings. At Ajax, he was mashing it up. He's come here, he's just carried on. He's not been phased by the challenge by, oh, it's the Premier League, I'm playing at Old Trafford. You know, he's scoring, every game he's playing, he's scoring, assisting, dazzling defenders putting himself about and he's, you know, he's also trying some ambitious things, shooting from outside the box, curling it to the top corner mm. and whatnot. And that's what we want because our history of wingers have always been ballers or people that have got personality, you know, with Nanny and so on and so forth. So yeah, Anthony's just the same mould and great buy and he just needs to continue. Cristiano Ronaldo, was it Ronaldo to the rescue Dang, today? Man. Listen, Ronaldo, CR700, they said, um, that was a tweet, yeah, 700 goals. It was literally 20 years, two days ago, he scored his first goal for Sport in Lisbon. Um, 20 years later, 700 career goals. I love him. His celebration, he was like, <laughs> and to me, that's just him saying, finally, like, I've scored. Like, and he would just get back into the mould. And whilst Martial's out, it, uh, Ronaldo will play on Thursday and hopefully he gets a good performance. And I reckon momentum going his way. Mate, he could get 20 goals this season. Easy. He, he could do it. He's Ronaldo. Do you know what I mean? I'd love to see that. So I like seeing him in the team. Because... Not to put the players against each other, but because of what's happened to Martial, we kind of have to ask this, ask this question. With the injury to Martial, we hope it's not too long. We'll, we'll see. Eric Ten Hag hasn't really given anything on it. It's obviously still quite fresh, whether it's going to be long or not. Mm. Do you see a situation now where you can see Ronaldo coming to the forefront to play in this Ten Hag system? Can Ronaldo, you know, can Ronaldo be that striker for Ten Hag? Can he play in that system? Can he? Consistently, because obviously he's won as a game yeah. today. So, yeah, but. I think it's an easy answer. I think it's, yeah. You know, I raised it to the boys um, earlier. I said, look, only last season, let's call it, what, five, six, seven months ago, he was scoring 24 goals. Are you telling me he's dropped off that quick? I don't think he could drop off that quick. Not when for 20, nearly 30 years of his life, he's been practising every day to the extreme levels, you know, always the first one at training, so on and so forth. So you don't lose it overnight. Obviously, if you remember back to the summer, he had a lot of things going on in his personal mm. life. I know pre-season, so that all kicks in. But he'll get himself out of that rut, and I believe he has done And even when he was on the bench, he was smiling, mm. you know? So I feel like he's in a happy place and play him. He rises to the occasion every time. Because you get things in the media, like during last week, you know, Ronaldo's dismayed at 
some of Ten Hag's tactics and a lot of negative press and, you know, us here on the channel, we just, mm. we let those things go. But yeah. you get those little kind of little negative agendas of like, oh, Ronaldo must be really pissed off and, and that. But Ten Hag said he's pissed off and not playing. But does that just show you that like, you know, he's still professional, he's still a top player and he can still have a massive impact for you? Know? Listen, look, I would expect him to be pissed off. And if he wasn't pissed off, there'd be a problem. Yeah. Him being pissed off shows that he cares and that he wants to play and he still believes in himself that he's got the ability. Um, so yeah, be pissed off, that's fine. Um, but ultimately, I believe he respects the manager and um, he will do what the manager says. He sees the bigger picture. Mm. And I don't think he'll go in January. He'll want to see the season out and then maybe consider his options then. What about Martial, though? Like with this thing, this injury, like we, we spoke about, we really wanted to get him going. He gets an assist as well, has it? You know, he's having a good impact on the game, playing well, and now injured again. Martial plays and he does something. He's so effective and it's a shame that he's injured. And um, I don't know, he needs to have a good look at himself because if he wants to be, one, United's number one striker, and two, have longevity at United, he needs to nip that in the bud. His injuries... Um, Maybe talk to somebody like Ronaldo who's had a whole career and how do you look after yourself like this? Yeah. Look after Ronaldo's because, never injured. Exactly. Um and if we could get Martial injury free, my gosh, mm. we've got a striker, we've got a number nine who could do everything from assisting, creating, dropping deep. He's got an all, all round game as a um number nine striker. So um it's a shame, but hopefully that can get resolved. Casemiro. Um he got man of the match today on BT. Yeah. We kind of spoke about it saying, Oh, I don't know, that was he played well in some bits, some bits not so much. But, you know, anyway, it doesn't matter. He'll be happy with that, get his confidence mm -hmm. up and we've won the game, main thing. Um, you gave Man of Match to Luke Shaw, but just on Casemiro, what did you make of his performance? Um, all round, good performance. Um, however, because of who he is, he's done certain things that you're like, bro, you shouldn't be doing that. Because mm -hmm. if it was McTominay or Fred, you'd be like, ah, get him off. You said that, mm -hmm. you know, so true. So he's done some flaky things, but I guess because we've got the win, he gets away with it. But again, he needs to cut that out of his game. It is his first game starting in the yeah. Premier League. So, you know, give him a little... Ten Hag will start to start him more now consecutively. And Yeah, I mean, yeah. why not? It is At the end of the day, it is Casemiro. You know, he's got the ability. We saw some of his passing. That's probably something that the other two midfielders that we have don't offer. Um, so, yeah, good, good start and continue. And I think he did free up Bruno and Ericsson more so than what I've seen yeah. in this new team that we've been playing. So... Not a bad start. Love.